Well, the one thing that we're, that we're doing a good job of this year, which we have not done in the past, is we're defending and we're really rebounding at, at a, a level that I think can really have some positive effects in the conference play. So we have to continue to defend and rebound. You know, our issue actually is, is we're not scoring the ball with any consistency at all, which is, which is rare for us. Usually that's what we do well. So um, we, we were turning the ball over early. We've corrected that problem in the last five games. We'll continue to defend and rebound. Now if we can just shoot the ball with a little more consistency and create some easier opportunities, I think we have a good formula to be successful. I think when you have um, a majority of your guys out there with a comfort level, it kind of makes everyone a little more comfortable. If, it, if it's a, a new experience for three, four guys on the court, well, there's going to be a little uneasiness. The comfort, you know, the comfort level of the coaching staff is obviously much higher, but even for the players out there. So I, I think that the, the new guys that are playing a, a decent amount can lean on the veterans a little bit and, and uh, you know, see how they're playing and with poise and with, you know, also with urgency because league play is, is, is what it's all about for us. I mean, everyone will forget the non-conference if we, you know, play in league play like we're hoping. We played some good teams. We played Northwestern, St. John's, Providence. Uh, we played St. Peter's. A lot of good non-conference teams. And I think that's going to prepare us to play up against, uh, to play against our conference because you've got to uh, compete with the best to play with the best. So I think, I think the, the better teams we play in non-conference, I think we're going to find out a lot about ourselves and uh, going to conference play, we're going to build a lot of confidence. St. Francis, Brooklyn, they, they, uh, they do have a couple of very good guards. And for us personally, we, need, we know that we just need to, to lock up. And that's going to be one of what our coaches said that if we're going to be successful, we need to defend. So I think going into this game, they're going to be preaching defense. And, uh, and if we can just execute the game plan, execute, guard the guys we need to guard, I think we'll be right there. Our, our perimeter defense is really going to be tested, uh, both for shooting the three and driving the ball. We're going to have to play good team defense. It's not going to be one person's responsibility. Um, and then the other thing, that, you know, the biggest key is because they're missing a lot of times, we have to hold them in one shot. You know, which we've done well. We've really rebounded the ball at a high level. So um, our, our defense is going to be tested, certainly on the perimeter, and we, we have to answer that. And uh, well, you know, we have to play a solid game. You can't, you know, at this point of the year in league play, you can't play poorly and win. If you play poorly, you're, you're probably going to lose. If we play well at home, we'll have a very good chance of winning. And that's what we hope to do. Yeah, against uh, FDU, they're another very good team with some very good players. And uh, and I think that if if like like I was saying for St. Francis, if we can just play defense the way we know we're capable of playing defense and stop their main guys, I think we're going to be right there at the end of it. Well, they're an explosive offensive team. They have one of the better guards in the league in Darian Anderson and one of the better front court court uh, guys in the league in, in uh, Holloway. And uh, so, you know, they're a, a difficult inside-outside matchup. Um, we're going to, you know, our defense is going to be challenged there. Our defense has been very good. This is the best defensive team we've had in five years by far. So we've cut our turnovers almost in half. So we've really addressed that issue, I think, well. Uh, we made some corrections on, on where the turnovers are coming from and how we can limit them. Um, they do turn people over a lot. They're very aggressive defensively. They deny one pass away. So we'll certainly have to be ready for that. We have to have a good, solid game plan, know the game plan, execute the game plan, play with consistency, and try to be 1-0. If we're 1-0, we'll be very happy. If we're, you know, and then we're gonna try to be 2-0. So we're gonna just try to play the best we can play in this game.